They say that laziness is the engine of technological progress. We invented a wheel because we were too lazy to carry. We invented a TV remote control because we were too lazy to get up from our couches. But is the progress justifying the expectations of our laziness? If new technology is al allowing us to do our work more efficiently, as a result, we should have more spare time. But it does not seem to be the case at all. The new inventions make us more productive. But instead of freeing up time, they raise the expectations everybody has from our work. And the freed up time is automatically filled up with new tasks. And then we again think up of new technologies that should make our lives easier. And we are hoping to breathe a sigh of relief very soon. But the relief is not coming, as now we have to be doing even more. So is there a way out of this vicious cycle? An old joke is told about a Jew who came to a construction site looking for employment. What can you do, asks the foreman. I can dig, answers the Jew. The foreman is not impressed. What else can you do? The Jew got lost for words only for one second. I can also not dig. We can be laughing at this Jew, but actually we have a very important lesson to learn from him. While we all look for more and more ways of how to dig to work, and while we are so busy with digging, with working, we forget that we also have an option of not digging. The Lubavitch Rebbe used to joke when he noticed that as soon as a phone would ring, people would drop everything and run to pick it up. You are not your phone's slave, said the Rebbe. You are your phone's master. The phone was created for you, not the other way around. We are very thankful for every invention that makes our lives easier. But we have to make sure that these inventions are working for us. And we have to make sure not to allow ourselves to be enslaved by them. When the Jews were taken out of Egyptian slavery, God gave us Shabbos, a day when we have to rest. God knows us, his clients. He knows that we would not stop working unless we are commanded to do so. We don't need Pharaoh to enslave us. We often voluntarily become slaves to our work. We are told that we have to rest on Shabbos to remember that we are not slaves. The laws of Shabbos seem to be very restrictive, but people who start keeping Shabbos often tell me that they suddenly feel more freedom than they ever felt before. They know that their boss at work or their business client cannot make them work on that day. And if their phone rings, they don't have to run to pick it up. This is why Shabbos is given to us as a sign that we are not slaves. Try it. It works. <laughs>